Russia warns the West is playing with fire as it unleashes biggest drone attack since start of Ukraine invasion. Russia has issued a stark warning to the West saying it is playing with fire after it agreed to provide Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets. The warning comes after Vladimir Putin's forces unleashed a heavy airstrike on Kiev that was described as the largest drone attack since the start of the war. The hit was followed by another attack in the capital this morning. Speaking in a TV interview, Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov warned that Western countries were playing with fire by agreeing to provide Ukraine with game-changing F-16 fighter jets. He described the move as an unacceptable escalation of the war and said, it's playing with fire, without a doubt. Lavrov denounced it as an attempt to weaken Russia by Washington, London, and their satellites in the EU. Kiev was rocked by explosions today just hours after Russian forces launched dozens of missiles and drones on targets across the country, sending panicked locals running for shelter. Heartbreaking footage shows terrified children screaming as they ran for their lives to the nearest bomb shelter. Russia struck with unmanned aerial vehicles and KH-101-555 missiles, reports suggested. Sunday's hit was described as the largest drone attack in the city since the start of the war by local officials. The attack lasted more than five hours, with air defense shooting down 58 of the 59 launched drones. The strike happened when the capital celebrates the anniversary of the city's founding, Kiev Day, and left one person dead. This morning the city's mayor Vitaly Klitschko said there were explosions in the capital's central districts and that emergency services had been dispatched before urging residents to stay in. Shelters he posted on Telegram, emergency services have responded to a call near the center of the capital. The attack on Kiev continues. Don't leave the shelters. A spokesperson for the Ukrainian Air Force, Yuri Ianat, said the attack had been conducted with ballistic missiles, thought to be Iskanders, and possibly also S-300 and S-400 missiles. The city's military administration said Ukrainian air defenses shot down all missiles fired at Kiev and that no targets were hit. The air attack followed hours after overnight missile and drone strikes and was the 16th in Kiev this month, it said. Ukrainian officials said the attack put five aircraft out of action on a military target in western Ukraine and caused a fire at the Black Sea port of Odessa. Ukrainian officials said the attack put five aircraft out of action on a military target in western Ukraine and caused a fire at the Black Sea port of Odessa. Authorities said work was underway in the region of Komelitsky to restore a runway and five aircraft were taken out of service. At the moment, work is continuing to contain fires in storage facilities for fuel and lubricants and munitions, the Komelitsky region governor's office said. Ukraine's military said the attack on Odessa port had caused a fire and damaged infrastructure. A fire broke out in the port infrastructure of Odessa as a result of the hit. It was quickly extinguished. Information on the extent of the damage is being updated, the military's southern command said on Facebook. The attacks were part of a fresh wave of airstrikes in Ukraine this month as Kiev is preparing for a counteroffensive to reclaim territory seized by Moscow. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense shared a trailer on Sunday promising to destroy the country's enemies and vowed to avenge the murder of our brothers and the rape of our sisters.